Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Star Stable. I'm here in the Forgotten Fields because off the coast has pulled up an iceberg. <laughs> the iceberg is rather rare. I get asked all the time. I have three seal pets. There's a white one, a gray one, and a brown one. Where did you get the seal pets? And they are from the iceberg <laughs> that pulls up to the coast of Jorvik every so often. I would say once or twice a year. I've, it's only been around, this is the tr third time since I've been playing, and the first time it was here, the second time it was off the coast of Cape West Fishing Village, so I couldn't get to it, and now it's back at the Forgotten Fields, so we are going to go check it out. Supposedly, there is also now uh, someone that sells clothes in addition to someone who sells seal pets, so I would like to get some more seal pets and maybe check out some clothes, uh, maybe some gear and have some fun this iceberg is so cool i love that it's such a, like a rare thing that only happens once in a while and i have to take some pictures too of course aha uh -huh. here they are hello gentlemen i want to see what this guy has for clothes gundy <laughs> he has a name the other guy's just seal adoption <laughs> this guy has a name okay so it's like a like a teal a greenish aqua green shirt aqua green pants with pretty good stats i must say wow that's cool Ooh, some gray boots i like those matching green hat green gloves <laughs> i don't know how i feel about about the clothes uh there's a jacket that's okay i mean they look good it's just not necessarily a color i would choose oh the pink kind of matches my hair <laughs> i'm not gonna lie what's on there I don't know, bugs or flowers, I I'm not sure. <laughs> um, some blue gloves that I like a lot. Some shoes that I can't buy. <laughs> a purple and green bridle. A purple saddle pad. Purple saddle. And purple leg wraps. I like the leg wraps. Um, I don't know who the saddle and stuff would match, but I do kind of want these boots. <laughs> We're going to put those on right now. <laughs> Where'd they go? Up here. It's cool. They're not as awesome as my sneakers, but they're pretty rad. <laughs> and now let's check out the seals. So I own three seals, a white one, a gray one, and a brown one. But I think there's a lot more. And they've added some, I think, because I don't remember the black with, with white spots. But look at that little guy. And this little guy has a hair doodle. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a dark gray. I think I have a... Oh, gray? Gray. I think I have the dark gray, and this is a light gray. We have white with gray spots. An, uh, another brown one? Dark brown? Light brown. <laughs> All black? Oh, I definitely have to get that one. And maybe a new saddlebag? Oh, the white. Ice flow. Ooh, light blue. Pale blue. Oh, snowflakes. Ooh, that one has flames. <laughs> Alright, I went ahead and bought all the seals, just so I have a complete collection. And I can show them to you guys. We have the black, the tan. Is that a heart on his head? It looks like a little heart. We have a gray, brown, a lighter gray, white with gray spots. A lighter brown, black with white spots, and the white one with the doodle. We're going to use that one for now. <laughs> We're going to call him Doodle. <laughs> doodle Seal. <laughs> Little things amuse me. I didn't pick up any of the saddlebags. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back and get a saddlebag. Uh, he'll, he'll be here at least for a week. I don't know the exact amount of time that it will be here, but uh, it didn't match my outfit today, so I wasn't too worried about it. But he looks pretty adorable. <laughs> so, let's carry on our adventure. We'll go do some quests. And, you know, we'll see you next time, Iceberg Dudes. <laughs> Alex has a quest for us here at the Silverglade Equestrian Center. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Alex? Cadence. I'm only borrowing this old horse because my horse, Tin Can, has been staying on Horse Island since last winter. And I haven't yet had the time to fetch my beloved horse. Herman, the owner of Jorvik Stables, has hired a boat and visited Horse Island to fetch the horses 
that have been stranded there since winter, and among them, Tin Can. Could you help me by meeting the boat and fetch Tin Can for me? Sure, we can do that. Thank you, it is really kind of you to help me. I need to ride back and return this old horse now. Ride and meet Herman where he's arriving with the boat, so he doesn't have to wait for me. I'm sure he's already there. I'm sure you and my horse Tin Can will get along great, even if he is a little bit special. That's worrisome. What do you mean special? I'll ride back to drop off this old horse while you pick up my horse Tin Can. Meet Herman and lead Tin Can back. How many times are we going to say Tin Can in this quest? A lot, I bet. Back to with you to where I will be waiting at the winery. Herman is st is landing with Tin Can somewhere near Southern Iron Gate Beach. Do you know where that is? It is right beside the Baroness's Riding Arena. I think we know where it is. It's near the gate for Golden Hills that we can't get to yet. But soon. But soon. We're here. Well, we're in the area. <laughs> There's the gate. There's a boat. It's got to be that boat. Here's the beach. There he is. Oh, hey, you must be Tin Can. Mm -hmm. Ahoy, are you Cadence? You were picking up Tin Can for Alex, right? Mm -hmm. Ship ahoy, young lady. It's not often I go out on a boat and the journey was rocky both to and from Horse Island. Legs are shaking on both me and the horses. My old pal, Captain Bruss, has kindly offered the ship to ship the stranded horses from Horse Island and see to it that they are returned to their rightful owners again. So now, Tin Can is here. Of course, Alex shouldn't have to be without her Tin Can. Does anybody keep count? How many Tin Cans are we up to? Mm -hmm. I have helped Lisa, Anne, Alex, and Linda during their previous adventures here on Yorvik, and of course, I'll do anything for them and their friends. Understand, I am not a member of the Keepers of Aideen, but I'll always be on their side and help them in any way I can against anything that might threaten your Vic. It's good to know. Thank you, Herman. I guarantee we will meet again sometime soon. I know, because you're a key point of getting into Epona. Any friend of the Druids is a friend of mine. Here's Tin Can. He can certainly introduce himself. Give my regards to Alex. Captain Bruce and I will deliver the other horses. Speak to Tin Can. What's going on, Tin Can? Oh, we're not turned enough. Ho oh, ho, that's right, I am Tin Can, Alex's faithful companion. And he's he's talking to us. This is the horse. Is he talking in our mind? And of course you are Cadence, and you will take me to Alex. Maybe? You're freaking me out a little bit, horse. Strange that I can speak? <laughs> Some people think so. I'll tell you what is strange. It isn't that I can talk, but that you can hear me. It isn't everyone who can speak with a horse, do you know? I didn't know anyone could. Thanks to your work with the druids, some new and unexplained powers have begun to awake. So, my friend, show me the way to Alex. I have no shoes and my legs are shaken after the boat, so don't ride me too fast. Well, you know, no horseshoes, I mean. Sore hooves. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh no, he's off. <laughs> we just had a conversation with the horse. Was he talking out loud? Was it in our head? How does that work? Can I talk to Hollow Blood? Oh my gosh, we made it. It only took 10 years. Alex, your horse is here. I'm a Tin Can, my old true friend. Finally, we get to be together again. I'll never leave you ever again. Oh, it's so wonderful to have Tin Can back again. But it isn't right that he doesn't have horseshoes. There's only one kind of horseshoe that works for Tin Can. Elizabeth and Veildale has them. If you ride over to Elizabeth and tell her what we need to bring them back, then I'll give you a pair of brand new white riding pants. Sound like a good deal? Yeah, anything for new clothes. I think Elizabeth also has another quest for us, uh, for the cure for Summer Breeze. Yes. Mom, mom. Oh, Tin Can is back in Silverglade together with Alex again? That is great to hear. The gang is getting back together again, even if it isn't happening very quickly. Uh, thank you for helping us so much, Cadence. Now let's see, where did I put that box with those antique horseshoes? There they are. I thought I had misplaced them. I might have taken a whole day to find them, but lucky for us, not this time. Take this package of antique druid horseshoes to Alex. 
These should be good enough, even for an amazing horse like Tin Can. Okay. Let's see her other quest. Perfect timing, Cadence. The cure is ready for delivery. Felicity knows that you are on her way. I keep my fingers crossed and hope everything will be fine. Me too. All right, let's deliver the horseshoes first, maybe? And then we'll do the uh, cure. Hey, Alex. Oh, she looks great on her horse. They fit real well together. Look at that. These are perfect. These are for you, Tin Can. These are the right ones. Thank you, Cadence. Here are the white riding pants I promised you. I bought them just for you, my friend. I hope you like them. Oh, thanks. She bought them just for us. It's not like a hand-me-down from Loretta or anything. Awesome. Oh, awesome. <laughs> now we just really don't match really with anything. <laughs> we don't match our whores. Our shoes don't match. Our pants. Our pet bag. <laughs> I'm just always a mess. <laughs> I'm in Fergrove now to deliver this cure to Felicity for Summer Breeze. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let's see if this will cure Summer Breeze. Did it? You have helped us so much. Would you like to give Summer Breeze the cure? Yes. Yes, we would. Here, buddy. I hope it helps. I guess I won't know yet. Thanks once again. Now we have to wait and keep our fingers crossed. I don't know how to repay you, but I'll find something nice to give you. Thank you, Felicity. We will check back soon. It's time to check in with Bjorn about some flowers and gardening. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it, Cadence? What a spellbindingly beautiful garden that is now showing us its naked face. It is a truly magical feeling, isn't it? It is tr going to be truly breathtaking. I simply can't wait. Now we need to plant flowers, flowers, and even more flowers. Ride as fast as you can over to Felix in Silverglade Village and ask if we can get some pansy seeds from him. Hurry up, Cadence. Oh, okay, we're, we're hurrying. Felix, we're in need of some flowers. Pansy seeds? Of course, no problem at all. You'll have them in an instant. Here are the seeds, Cadence. Take them over to Bjorn and Agnetha right away. Hurry. Why am I so stressed? Have you met Agnetha when she's angry? No? It is something you never want to experience, Cadence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have your seeds, Bjorn. Ready to go. Hey, Cadence, did you get the seeds from Felix? Oh, he's so thoughtful. Now we need to start planting them. Finally, the glo- you all right, bro? The glorious day has arrived. Now we will sow the seeds of our fantastic flower friends that soon will grace us with their blooms. Oh, I'm positively dizzy with excitement, Cadence. This is the best day of my life. I think I might faint. Thud. And he fainted. Oh, who are you? Oh, of course, we're going to plant. Hurry up, Cadence. I feel a little dizzy. I think I need to rest a little, but please take the seeds and plant them in the ground. Will do. Don't faint, please. It's only flowers. We're happy to help. Excellent. Pansies are planted. I wonder how long it takes before they'll actually start growing. <laughs> planted. Ready to go. Fantastic, Cadence. It is so exciting that I might die. <laughs> when are they going to bloom? I might explode. I don't know. I don't know how long they will take. I hope it's soon. <laughs> that is close enough, Cadence. You don't need to come any closer than that on your little horse. Ah, yes. We will need to repair the pipes. You should know that here on this old broken farm, the pipes are the worst possible quality. They break all the time, and I don't have time to fix them all and help Bjorn with everything he wants done. He is completely worthless with anything that resembles real work, just in case you haven't figured that out yet. How are you with fixing things, sweetie? Are you as useless as Bjorn, or are you ready to get dirty and get things done? You can? I'm glad to hear it. We like your kind of person here. Have a look at these things here. This is my plumbing work kit. Be careful with it as these things are expensive. Take the tools with you to the garden and repair those broken pipes. Come back later. Don't be lazy now. This is good old fashioned work. 
can't tell if I like her or not. <laughs> do you guys like her? I kind of like her can-do attitude. But she does have an attitude. <laughs> Ooh, that's definitely broken. Nope. Dismount. Dismount. Repairing. Done. How many? That was it? That was just, just one. She made it sound like there was a ton that needed to be fixed. We've repaired your pipe, madam. Good going, little Cadence. Now the flowers won't have to die of thirst like someone else here I could mention. Listen now, little Cadence. The real secret behind the garden idea is a new invention. A super fertilizer that I have discovered. It should get the flowers to grow and bloom in no time at all. You thought I was only good at running chainsaws and blowing things up, didn't you? Well, you thought wrong. I have a good head on my shoulders, all right. When I worked over at Eurovic Stables, I used to muck the stalls from morning to late at night, every day. I noticed everything grew very fast on the manure piles. I tested it by tossing a bundle of seeds on the pile one night, and when I came back in the morning, the pile was coated in tulips. So I asked Herman, the boss there, Herman, sweetie, it doesn't make sense for this fertilizer to just be lying here, right? Why don't I buy it all for the cheap penny? And he answered, of course you can. So now I have exclusive rights to the world's best fertilizer, direct from Eurovic Staples, and we are going to use it to grow our flowers. But anyways, little Cadence, I'm standing here wasting valuable time we could be using to work instead. Here, take this sack of super fertilizer and empty it in the sun garden. I know it doesn't exactly smell like roses, but you can use a clothespin on your nose. <laughs> Just pinch your nose while you do it, that's all. Sure. All right, we have the fertilizer. We have the garden. <laughs> what? What do we do? Am I not close enough? Oh, I wasn't close enough. You need to be real close to use the fertilizer. Real close. Last one. Done. So that means the flower should be up in no time. Fertilizer distributed. Mm -hmm. Well done, Cadence. Now we just have to wait and let the super fertilizer do its work. Come back tomorrow and we'll have a look at it. Sure thing. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I'm super excited. I love the iceberg. I love getting the seals. This is so much fun. And soon enough, the Silver Glade Gardens will be beautiful once again. <laughs> We're almost 14. I actually just hit 14 on Nova. I'm super excited. You guys won't see that episode for a few more. I think I just did 73 and I think we just posted 70. So um, <laughs> there's not as much of a gap on those videos as there used to be. Uh, it all depends on scheduling. Sometimes they need the videos more in advance. Sometimes I need to do them more in advance because I'm not able to do them certain days. Anyway, they're always filmed in advance regardless, but now it's a bit closer to when the actual update happens. We also had a big announcement today that the next area opening is the South Hoof Peninsula. I knew I was going to struggle on that one. South Hoof Peninsula. And uh, I don't have any other details than you guys do, um, but it will be coming around soon. So I'm very excited. I don't know if I'll be able to go. Maybe. I'm not sure. It looked like the boat came from Fort Pinta, so who knows. Um, but I hope all of you guys will get to go. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. A lot of people have always asked for wild horses and this kind of environment that they've shown in the video and now you guys are going to have it and it's so cool and I'm so happy for you and I'm so excited. I've seen everyone so excited online. I cannot wait to see what you guys think and see your pictures and videos and hopefully we can check it out, you know, soon if not now and we'll be venturing into Golden Hills Valley very soon. Um, there's just so much in store. I'm so excited. We're in for a great year this year with Star Staples. So thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Let me know what you guys are up to and what else you want to see in these videos, in the Nova videos, whatever you feel like. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.